We went to Jordan in January of 2020, just after the new year, and we flew there from Egypt. And we were really looking forward to hitting up Petra and doing all those things that you, you put on your bucket list for Jordan, you know, heading to the Dead Sea and checking out Jarash and um, having a night in Wadi Rum. And it was a really exciting uh, trip for us. So here's our story. Um, like I said in the Egypt video, I don't always capture when we're in a bad mood or when things are going wrong. So I think that this story needs a bit of context. We flew into Amman and it was a short flight from Cairo to Amman. And upon landing, it was really exciting because Jordan was much more modern than Egypt. Dimi and I got separated at customs. And so I was a female all by myself going through customs. You'd think that would be okay. Went through on my own, uh, only to have the customs agent hit on me while he's holding my passport. So um, I was very polite and smiled and things like that because I want my passport back and I want to make it get that stamp into the country. Uh, but I didn't appreciate it. Uh, he was trying to offer me the food that was in his hand and telling me I was too skinny and that I should take it. Um, so that was, you know, notch number one that I wasn't happy about. The next thing that happened, uh, we were catching the bus from the airport into town. And we had already bought SD cards so we could track the bus and we knew exactly where we were going and what to do. Dimmy went and bought the ticket uh, and noticed when he was given a change that he wasn't given enough change. So they were already trying to rip us off. I wonder how many people that actually works for. Um, but he went and said, look, this isn't the right change. And they said, oh, whoops, and gave him the correct change. So that's notch number two. Uh, then the bus didn't follow the route that it was supposed to. And we were heading further away from our hostel instead of closer to it. So we decided to jump off the bus uh, at a different spot than where we were headed and as we jumped off there was a taxi driver there and he was a really aggressive taxi driver and he wouldn't leave us alone and we know we've traveled long enough don't jump into that taxi um, because they're the ones that are going to rip you off or take you the long way or something like that and we know that we were so tired and we were trying to get our phones to order an uber or something similar another cab but not this guy. And eventually um, we ended up getting in his taxi because we were tired and because the phones weren't working and we were kind of stranded. So we thought, you know what, don't care anymore. It's not very far, we'll just jump in his cab. He'll take us where we need to go and he'll probably charge us too much. So we did that, it wasn't a very long cab drive. He spent the whole time telling us about his wife and his children, you know, in, so he could get more money out of us. And uh, we ended up jumping out of his cab a little bit early because we got the phones working again and we knew we could walk the rest of the way. So it gave him too much money just to get out of there. As Dimmy was paying, I was grabbing the bags because it was like, nah, get out, get out of there. So we had these, you know, glasses on that showed us that you know be careful here and we already felt really uncomfortable and we had only been in the country for a, an hour and three things had already gone wrong uh, so we weren't too happy about that and that was just the beginning that was night one we went to bed and the next day we traveled to Jarash and that's where this story picks up I said he came to power in 117.18. This is a hippodrome. That's where they used to do chariot racing.
they're sitting on the ground. They're very intricate. Is that just like the broken obelisk? Yeah. This is an obelisk. It is broken. Idiot tour guide. No, I saw these on the top, back there. Yeah. They were on the top. Well, it came down the earthquake. Great earthquake of 700. And 41. There's something around there. Anyway. I read it on the sign, I'm <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> extreme to the other. It's crazy to think people with sandals and flip-flops and horses could be in England and here. It's a pretty good view from up here. Although I don't know if you can hear the bagpipes, they kind of don't match at all. Are you cold? Yeah, <laughs> ready to go back to a mine now. Let's go. Get food. I'm freezing. <laughs> Good morning. It's cold. It's road trip day. We've already been to this town that, what was it called? Uh, Mabata. We already went to Mabata, which we've never heard of, but it was kind of cute. It's like Happy. a little German and Greek presence, so it's like a little piece of Europe in the middle of uh, Jordan. Yeah, well. it didn't really look like the Rude Dog thing. I liked it, yeah. We went inside the church and it's Sunday, so they were having a service, all in Greek. Felt like we were in Greece for a minute. Actually, felt like we were home. It didn't feel like we were home. It <laughs> could have been home. Is that Dead Sea? I'm not sure. Now, <laughs> now we're at Mount Nebo, which we've also never heard of. But hey. Yeah, it's the Dead Sea. Uh, there is an amazing view from the top of this mountain. The Dead Sea. And Dimmy is claiming he can see the Dead Sea. Which we're going to next. I think we've gone the wrong way, by the way. We go yeah, the wrong way a lot. We're going back this way now. So, you want a picture of the Dead Sea? There, there's a little snippet. We, we, we walk the wrong way a lot. Um, and it's my shortcut. Oh, nah, I don't know. Probably a dead end. Let's see. Bathroom. It's actually quite a nice bathroom if you need it later. We found some Byzantine mosaics. And there's another one behind. Unless it was the same one. It probably was. And it broke. It was raining in Amman this morning. But we have been told that when we get down to the Dead Sea, it should be warm there. But I'm finding it hard to believe, considering I'm wearing a jacket a beanie and a freezing. <laughs> so I think the Dead Sea will go really well when we eventually decide to have a dip. This is the Abu Bad. We just got a security door at our house. We should have got this rock. Actually an amazing view over here, just past the olive trees. I'm full. Uh, it's a nice barn, full of pollution and smoke and smog is. Yeah, probably. Oh, you want to you want to show him your hair? Oh no, you haven't done your hair today. No, I haven't. But he has been, he has had a nice haircut and a nice shave. Very nice, it's nice and short at the back. Very nice, and all for 10 JD. Pretty good. Not bad. All right, let's see what this view is at the back.
so that's where we're heading next, down there. Ready for a swim? Ah, uh, not really. It's too cold. Okay, so technically on this trip we've been close enough to Sudan, to see Sudan, and close enough to Israel to see Israel. Can we count as having been there? No, you can't use it off the scratchy map. Take it off the scratchy map. Okay, so the other side of the Dead Sea is Israel? Yeah, halfway point. Really? Yeah, so that sun is... That's... So it's sunny in Israel today. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not sunny here. That's crazy, isn't it? This is the Dead Sea. Tell you guys that this trip has overall been disappointing. You think why? How? This is why. Yeah. And it costs five JDs to get in. Ten dollars. You shouldn't have to pay for a beach, first of all. Yeah. There is no facilities here, so whatever. But I can't get over the disgusting rubbish. How can we go and bathe when that is surrounding it? It's absolutely filthy. Absolutely filthy. I'm extremely disappointed again. I can't come all this way and not go in. o'clock in the morning and we have entered Petra. You haven't had any coffee. And this is Anthony. <laughs> He's all done up. Climbing up to the monastery, it's supposed to be a three hour hike. So yeah. far, we've been hiking for how long? Oh, I don't know, but I'm sick of it. <laughs> Hot, sweaty, smelly. It keeps going up. Yeah, we'll get there soon. <laughs>
something to hold on to Gotta find it first But here I am Cause I've been laying on 